Here we'll have a look at SimTable's pan and zoom feature. You can see here we have our map of Santa Fe loaded up. So we'll go ahead and take our laser pointer and we'll point at the bottom left button here and choose pan and zoom, which brings up our pan and zoom toolbar here. If we press the in button, our map zooms in, changing our scale from three miles to one mile. And as we press out, we'll zoom back to our original scale. Now we'll zoom back in and place a few resources on our map. We'll start with a Type 1 engine which has a hose radius set by the data in the Fireline handbook. We'll place a few along our road here and here. We'll also place a Type 1 dozer line which has a progression rate set by the data in the Fireline handbook. We'll start our dozer in about the middle of our map heading east and you'll see that our progression rate is sped up but takes us about an eight count to get from the center to the edge of our map. Now we'll reset our simulation and zoom in to get a much closer view of the center of our map of Santa Fe and we'll replace our two Type 1 engines and our Type 1 dozer lines. We'll place our Type 1 engines along these roads here and here and draw our Type 1 dozer line from the center of our map outward. We'll go ahead and draw one more here to illustrate that our progression rates are following the scale of our map as well as the hose radiuses of our trucks. As we reset our simulation, we'll go ahead and zoom out a few times to get to the original view and scale of our map. You'll notice the scale in the bottom right following accordingly. Now let's say we just want to run a simulation around this mountain here. We'll choose our select button and click and drag a box over the view that we would like to see and simply wait for it to load up. Now we can alter our topography by moving the sand away from the areas of lower elevation to those of higher elevation like so, giving our map a three-dimensional element of slope specific to our chosen map view. Now we'll click on our maps button and our roads checkbox and you'll see that our shape files will follow the scale of our map and can also be toggled in and out in our chosen map view. If we go to our fuels layer, you'll notice a water feature in the northwest sector of our map. This is the watershed for Santa Fe. By choosing the pan button, we can point at the watershed and drag it to the center of our map view and now wait for the map to load. If we toggle back to our terrain layer, we can now alter our sand to fit the specific topography of this map view. If we would like to return to our original map, we may point at the home button and it will return us to our original map and scale. Thank you for watching our demonstration. Find out more and how to contact us at simtable.com.